picture and congratulations for Hope celebrating 24 years. And it's been a privilege to be in the journey with you for many, many years now uh, in addressing uh, child rights, especially child labor. Uh, from the time that the Campaign Against Child Labor initiative that we took forward to introduce in the Northeast of India, not only in Meghalaya, but the eight states of the Northeast of India. So uh, in regards to today's, uh, what many others uh, speaker has put forward uh, in terms of um, their uh, you know, experiences, uh, starting with Shanta Sinha and the different region, I, I just wanted to bring in very, very briefly that COVID-19, uh, the lockdown has shown many challenges when it comes to child rights and child protection. And having said that, the experiences that we as an organization uh, who's part of many networks, who's part of many initiative uh, across the country with many organizations that we have worked very, very closely because we believe that partnership is a way forward to address any issues concerning child rights and child protection. Uh, we have seen that unless until there is a collective vision uh, on the different specifics of rights of a child. Uh, if we take it from the context of the convention, the right of a child that India has ratified, it will be more challenging in the future if each one of us work in isolation. Uh, we've seen that whether we talk about education, whether we talk about child sexual abuse, whether we talk about child labor, or if we are talking about uh, you know, NGOs working together, the challenge is that the COVID situation has shown that unless it's a collaborative effort, uh, it's next to impossible to raise a consensus, a voice in the country, that the policy that has been uh, you know, implemented by the government or policy that are yet to be implemented by the government, it's only heard by one single organization or two. So I think the way forward as child right organization in the country, uh, we need to do a reflection, a reflection of uh, the different committees that is existing in the central government, uh, in the various ministries, uh, committees that is in existence uh, in every state uh, as the outcome of the central committees. Uh, it's functioned, it's activeness, uh, it's progress. Uh, I think it's time to, to get them reviewed. It's time that we as child right organization, uh, you know, consensusly come together uh, demand a review of the various committee, the functions, uh, the intervention and its success or whether they are dormant because we realize that many committees are dormant, they are just in paper. Unless we do that, we will not be able to spearhead all these committee uh, to listen to the voice of organization that works on child rights in the country uh, to ensure that what has gone wrong and what has gone right, uh, to see whether collective uh, engagement uh, or convergence is required. So we have to really take one step further. And I think this meeting uh, that is being held today has brought many of us who have been in this field uh, in many, many years now and have seen the situation that the country has faced and have seen the condition that children has faced. And, and we've seen that there has been progress, but there have also been a lot of challenges. So my uh, submission to all uh, the organization that is actually you know, here today, we are almost 41 of us uh, listening and some of us are speaking from the different um, you know, zones uh, of our representation, but we can keep talking about the problems that is existing in our various districts and state, but unless until we are able to move uh, policy in real action, we will not see the larger change. We have to be able you know, to comprehend uh, that it's time that child rights uh, in the country needs to see the light of the day. Uh, we have to see from the time that India has ratified the Convention on the Right of a Child, how much the country has gone further and how much they need to go further. So starting with that, like I've just said that the various committee that has been set under the protection of child rights in the country needs to be reviewed, needs to be amended, needs to be, uh, you know, uh, I mean, the members has to really be able to come forth 
whether they are really functional. If they are, then what changes have they brought? If they are not, then what is the next course of action? Whether the different laws that is existing in the country, uh, do we have any kind of assessment uh, whether the law has really give you know, a correct uh, support system to the children. Because today with social media, uh, with the way the media uh, you know, is interacting to the, to the people, I mean I, I mean, I will not use the word social media as a journalistic reporting, but I would use the word social media as a platform of communication. We see the good, the bad, the ugly, but we need to start looking positively towards good action. So that is my submission uh, as a part of the movement for the last 20 years. And Victor, as part of the movement from the campaign against child right, you know, child labor over the years, I know that we have seen uh, good things like getting the coal mine, uh, you know, um, I mean, the PIL we, I mean, we filed uh, in the state of Meghalaya, uh, where we managed to uh, get a 30 years old mining that was engaging children uh, from cross-border as child labor closed. Uh, it is a success story, no doubt, but there's a challenge that comes along with it in terms of how the state responds and how you know, the economics uh, will actually uh, you know, push more exploitation of children. I mean, with COVID, with lockdown, the economics of businesses will bring more child labor. Are we prepared to really just uh, respond as a service provider? Or are we prepared to come together and see what is the most needed response that we as civil society needs to, to do it together? Thank you so much. And I hope uh, that uh, we will be able through hope. I think Victor Raj has been a very, very strong advocate on child rights. Somebody I've respected many, many years now that I have closely associated, our organization has closely associated. Uh, we have seen the ins and outs, we have seen the crunch, I mean, uh, responses in terms of resources. We are having limited resources in the country today. We are seeing a fatigue uh, of donors providing support to NGOs. So unless until we mobilize our response through a convergence of the government uh, to act upon it, uh, we will not be able to counter the various kind of exploitation against children. Thank you so much.